Okay, today we'll be opening up this used AC Delco oil filter, number PF66. And I got this used oil filter from a very generous viewer whose name is Alex from Bakersfield, California. Thanks, Alex. This filter was in service for 3,000 miles and came off of Alex's wife's 2022 Buick Encore. Yep, the one with the 1.3 liter turbocharged engine, which now has 19,000 miles. She was using Mobile One Zero W20 Extended Performance Oil during this period. Let's open up this oil filter and see how it did. So let's get started. This is a network. You got a really good silicone. Be nice and tight. Get your hand up here. Filtration. Okay, so before we open this filter up, let's take a quick look at it. Date code 292124, USA. This is a sticker on here. This filter has seven elongated inlet holes, nitro rubber anti drain back valve, metal core with louvers. There's no bypass valve down there. Three grooves there for threads. And you got this nitro rubber gasket, which I'll put the thickness up on the screen. Pretty thick gasket. All right, so let's put that to the side. And let's open this filter up. Okay. Yeah, look at that. The end cap came right off. See that? Here's the glue. It came right off. It looks a little wet, it looks also. So it was probably oil sneaking right through there. See that? Yeah, because that's, that's totally wet. So this is hard. Yeah, just came right off. All right, well, looks pretty clean out here. Excess glue here and here, you can see. Like I said, no end cap. I mean, uh, no bypass valve. The pleats I'll put up on the screen. I'm going to just take this right off. Got a metal crimp seam. Let's see if there's any tears. Oh, it looks good. Yeah, that all looks good. I don't see nothing out of the ordinary there. Just this, just this metal end cap came off. And I was looking up on um, O'Reilly's website, and they got this as cellulose media with a micron rating of 98% at a multi-pass efficiency of 25 to 30 microns. Okay, let's see what the rest of the filter. We got a stamp leaf spring. It's got a nice curve to it. And not too much oil in here. It looks pretty clean. Yeah, that looks really clean. It's got a nice color to it. And I'm going to put the thickness of the can on the screen. Yeah, can looks good. Yeah, let's see the base plate. Yeah, that looks good. And then AJ back valve. Yeah, it looks like that would work all right. Let's take a look at this up close. See any tears or anything? That's a little paint from the can, I think. Right there, a sliver of paint. I'll clean this up, but it all looks good. Yep. Alright, let's get some measurements. So the can I already put on the screen. And let me measure it this way. Because <laughs> this, this is the way I always measure it. So. Yeah. Okay. 2.56 inches wide minus a tenth of an inch. 
So we're minusing that tenth of an inch on these guys. All right. I think I got everything. Well, let's uh, cut this filter media open, squeeze it out, stretch it out, and see what it looks like. Be right back. Okay, here's the filter media all stretched out. And this filter is 52 and a half inches long. Okay, let's get the thickness of this filter media. 0.88 millimeters thick. Here's the filtering side, back side. And if we take a look at this filter media under a microscope, you're gonna see it's, it's pretty clean. There's only a couple little spots there where it caught some kind of carbon soot, but overall, it's, it's a really clean filter. So let's take a look at that picture. So as you can see, looking under a microscope, the filter media is really clean. And it's clean on the outside here also. Let's take a look at it up close. So you can see there's really not much soot on here. Just barely on the creases, but it's really, it's, all, it's really, really clean. No sparklies either. So let's take a look at the rest of the filter. Okay, so the gasket, got a nice thick gasket. You can see a little ridge on here where it went up against the block, like this. That's a nice thick gasket, it looks nice. And you got your anti-drain back valve, nitro rubber. But it looks like it did a good job. It covers up the holes nice. Yeah, this looks fine. A lot of nice inlet holes, nice base plate, stamp leaf spring, which looks looks fine. The only disappointing part about this filter, I would say, is this end cap just came right off. It could have had, you know, it could have let um, oil go right through. I'm not sure though. And we got a center core with louvers. Let's check these louvers out. Okay, you can see, yeah, you can see those are really opened up good. Those are nice. No problem there. The can's pretty good too. Let's take a look at that can. I just had it sitting like that. Yeah, it's really clean. There's no sludging or anything in there. There's no, no soot. Just a little off color there, but that's nothing. So what do you guys think about this filter? And again, I want to thank Alex for sending me this used AC Delco oil filter. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays. I try to open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care.